Good evening, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, collective? There is an energy in the air. Oh, there is an energy in the air. What's going on, collective? What's going on? You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. Collective, what is going on? What is with this energy? What is with this energy? What's this deck? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful collective. Collective, what's going on present? You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. Yes, this is, this is what we need to be focusing on, okay? Bringing in the love, keeping your energy high, keeping your vibration high, sending out peace, love, and light, right? That's how you counterbalance any of this negativity going on. You know, when it comes to uh, reaping season, right? The negative or the positive, uh, keeping things positive, uplifting, purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love, right? Mm-hmm. Send them peace, love, and light. Your adversaries, known and unknown. <sighs> Woo. Collective, what's going on? You know, there was a Laura Branigan song I keep trying to find. It's like a B-side version. Uh, all I can think of, like, the beginning lyrics are like a, a, a chair. It's like uh, singing about a chair, a, a balloon being released. It's kind of a slow song. And then it rises up. It's a very beautiful, slow song. Mostly like piano bass. And I couldn't find it to save my life. And I can barely even remember the words. But it, the song is very sad. It's about letting go. And someone's, you know, unable to do it. It's like a broken chair. It's a, it's a song about loss. But the fact that I'm sitting here, I was thinking about it. Probably about an hour before I turned the fucking camera on. And I'm thinking, what the hell is this song? And I did... I did the, the, the search, and I couldn't find it. And I know years ago I came across it. It's a beautiful song. I think she sang it after her husband uh, passed. Um, man, you know, she's been gone a while. So uh, it's a Laura Branigan song. If any of you can think of it, put it in the comments section. Balancing Act in reverse. Yeah, number 11 here. You see that white in reverse? Uh, the negativity, uh, very... It's very imperative right now that you send out love and light, okay, to counterbalance any negativity around. Because, you know, as people get their, you know, this reversal season, what you put out, you get back, right? Harvest season, you either planted the seeds and now you're going to reap uh, what you've sown or you didn't and you're going to be, you know, reaping what the hell you didn't sow, which is nothing. You know, everything being uh, taken back. Y'all see the beauty of that card? As I see a bird uh, shadow in the window there on the little bush. I don't know if you can see that. It's like that ship coming towards her, but it's on a very fine line. You know, it's a very fine line between light and dark. You know, there's not always grays. Or if you play in the gray, it's very easy to go dark, right? Y'all seeing that? I know I got the ring light on. I hope you can see that card. That's the energy, but I'm feeling it's like that Will of Fortune. You notice the heck of that card? It's either going to be good or someone's going to, you know. <laughs> kind of like that magnifying glass, you know. It's such a weird ass energy. When you get those energy, when you feel those energies come in, okay. Very imperative. You stay positive. Uh, know what's yours. You know, ask on it. God, spirit, what is this? This ain't my energy. What's going on? What's going on here? So, collective. That Lord Brannigan song, though. 
I hate that. I normally know songs, but it's like that song is there, but it's, um, you know, you can't think of it. You can't think of it, but you know what the song's about. Um, that's why I don't feel this is your energy collective. I don't feel it's your energy. Um, I don't, but it, it, an infringement on, you know, when people are going through the worst, when, uh, you know, uh, it's that karma dharma shit. And when people realize what they put out, they're reaping what the fuck they sown, right? We get that comeback around because people thinking you can absolve them from what the fuck they did. Like it's that easy. Like they could do the most and just come in and give you the least and you're going to give them absolution, right? The fool in reverse. Ten of wands in reverse. And the high priestess. What did I say? People think they can do the worst and just come in and, and you know, release them burdens pretty fucking quick. Yo, when you wish ill upon others, are you willing to go back down that fucking road? Because if you aren't, you best keep your fucking mouth shut. Because you're going to go down that road with a little bit of karmic fucking interest. That's the way it goes. That's why shit's allowed to be the way it is. Right? You want to do it, there you go. It's going to come back. The hermit, it's going to come back. The light or the dark, what are you operating in? If you didn't do the work... You're not going to be able to reap the rewards. That five of cups in reverse, this king of wands, someone, you know, now, oh shit. Now they're wishing they were on the healing side of this energy. Because when this karma comes in, it is not going to be fucking pretty. Judgment as above, so below. Oh, you can put out the most, you can wish the worst on people, but when that shit starts hitting you, oh what, you, you don't want it? Oh, it's okay for somebody else. Uh-huh. That's why we say, kill them with kindness. Mm-mm-mm. But collective, I feel a lot of you have done the healing. So if you know you've done the healing, you're good on this, right? Be very mindful of your energy. Because, you know, those that are watching, we got the Page of Swords here, the Nine of Wands. Those that are watching and knowing. Shit's coming to an end, but it's not going to be the resolution that a lot of them want. Five of Swords there to the Ten of Swords, right? Shit's ending. Shit's wrapping up. Shit's wrapping up. Now's the time to pay your bar tab. Now's the time to, uh, you know, even up. Shit balancing out. King of Pentacles in reverse. Lost season. Reaping season, harvest season, what you put out, you get back. If you weren't planting positive seeds, there you go. A lot of manipulation when it comes to love. We got the King of Cups here at the Page of Cups. All different kinds of love. You know, a lot of people feel like you can absolve them from what the fuck they've done. Is basically the energy. What do you think, Collective? Those that could have left you behind, left you in the dark, lied, did all kinds of fuckery to you. Confusion. Tower moments after tower moments. Oh, now, sweet Jesus, that shit's coming back around. And y'all, work, love, life on this. Work, love, life. Then reversal's hitting. Yeah, a lot of you. It's them reversals hitting. It's karma showing the fuck up. You reap what the fuck you've sown. Victory is when you move forward. Victory is when, you know, that karma comes. That chariot card, right? You did the work. What did you do? Was it positive? Was it negative? What do you expect? We don't have the devil up here, which I find very interesting. So this is the happy energies coming in. The positive energies, right? The devil can play for a little while, but the devil wants his due. You don't play for the with the devil for free, right? The devil takes far more than he ever gives. 
Now, you ain't cheating the devil. You're not cheating the devil. So, collective, right now, I want you to send peace, love, and light to your adversaries, known and unknown, whatever the hell you got going on in your life, whatever your situation is. And a lot of you, it's family, it's loved ones. Okay? For some, it's lovers. For a lot of you, it's family. It's family. And it's going to be very hard going into this uh, holiday season. You got Christmas coming up, right? Here in North America, we have Thanksgiving. Things have to get balanced out. They have to get balanced out. Some of y'all masculine energies around. Shit has to get balanced out. But even in trying to balance it out, some people don't want to fucking really do the full thing. It's like that half-assed balancing out. The emperor here. Definitely a, a lot of masculine energy. Now, masculine, just because we say the emperor, that could very well be a feminine energy, a very dominant feminine energy, right? Knight of Pentacles, the world card. New opportunities. Some of y'all are being asked to move towards new opportunities, to get this new start. Some of you have started it. Some of you, it's on the horizon. Six of Swords, the Temperance, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Judgment in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse, the Star in reverse, and the Seven of Swords. You're dealing with energies that don't want to do the fucking work. Oh, they can say, oh, I'll try. I've changed. I've changed. I'll try. I'll try. They want to show up. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the Aries, uh, Sagittarius energy. Libra heavy. But this person doesn't want to do the work. Page of Pentacles in reverse, Judgment reverse, Four of Swords, the Star. This person doesn't want to heal. It's like someone wants to come in and do the least to get absolution and then sneak away from their responsibilities. Shuck what the hell they did, right? Do the little and try to get the most fucking re re resolution, right? Uh, uh, oh, absolve me. Of what I've done. Give me your forgiveness and everything's all right with the world. Do Oh, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Look, I'm, I'm working on myself. But at the end of the day, it's just emotional manipulation. Earth sign energy, air sign energy. Body don't realize this person is sitting with their guard down. Because you know what? You're not supposed to give a fuck. That's shit balancing out. You want to throw daggers? Be prepared to take them back, right? For a lot of them who they dealt with, now they're getting backstabbed. You know, this energy of whatever you do is going to come back to you. Associations. Now people are turning on each other when the guards are down, right? When things are falling apart. When things are falling apart, yeah. You kind of see who you're dealing with. Kind of see who you're dealing with. Five of Swords there with the... Uh, Page of Swords, yeah, the Six of Swords. Now people are stuck in the fuckery that they created. Uh-oh, and they can't get out of it. The Hierophant here, as above, so below. There's always a higher authority watching over your situation. Things have to balance out. Collective, let those energies do what those energies need to do, just not in your presence. Because those are the ones that's going to want to come back around. It's going to be very imperative that you are able to uh, stand your ground. Do what you need to do. This is about you doing what you need to do. Okay? Spirit, give us some angel advice on this. Give us some angel advice. Give us some angel advice. Got five of swords again. Desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. <sighs> Five of Swords. You don't need that apology. You don't need to have that conversation. You don't need to end anything, right? Forgiveness is for you. 
it is for you. Queen of Wands here with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. You remove yourself from any conflict. That Queen of Wands is you moving forward, doing what you need to do. Not focusing on shit that really has no resolution. There is no happy resolution here uh, at the end of the day, right? You move forward doing what you need to do. You work on healing yourself. This is about you. You can give two fucks about anybody else. They got to learn this journey on their own. They got to step into their own King Queen of Wands energy. Do the healing that's required. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. They got to figure out how they're going to deal with what the hell they put out there. Seven of Wands, right? A lot of you, they need you to protect them now. Page of Pentacles, they want to come in. They want to they want to hide under your protection. They want to come in, in into the good, the positive energy, the positive light. These are people that are now giving, giving checks to the church yeah, to try to get some absolution. I'm sure some of these churches are going to see an uptick in donations. Pray for me, Pastor. Pray for me, Pastor. <laughs> yeah. We all know God don't work that way, right? You give because you wish to give. You don't give because you uh, want his protection. You give to help. Even your intent behind your giving tells who you are. Justice again. Balancing out. Balance has to come. Things have to balance out. Endings, new beginnings. Endings, new beginnings. Those that have moved on and, and, and got their resolution, got the absolution they feel they need for themselves, right? You're right with Jesus. You're right with the, your maker. You're comfortable in moving forward. You've given the forgiveness you need to give. You move forward, do what you need to do. And yes, the mothers are going to want to come back in. That's just the way it goes, right? People want to, oh, oh if I say I'm sorry, you know, uh, uh, it'll help me out. Mm, you made your bed, now you got to lie in it, you know? It's either a nice, soft, and comfy bed, or it's a bed of nails, right? It's that Nine of Swords energy. Collective, if you're not in it, some of those around you are. Eight of Pentacles. You should always be working on yourself. Working on bettering yourself. Working on moving forward. Six of Swords here with the Sun. In reverse. Someone's looking back. Someone can't find. You see, that's the thing. Uh, you know... Those that do the most, those that want to send out the most negative energy, when they get in that, in that, you know, state where things are coming back on them, right? And they're trying to hurry up and do the work. They're missing out on, on you know, the really the true happiness. Most of them knows what the hell would have been the right thing to do the whole fucking time, but they didn't do it. So they get stuck in that six of swords energy. But sometimes you can't always... Uh, you know, go the direction you want to, do correct course. You know, it's that little kid getting distracted there. Mm. Don't get distracted. Those of you that are changing, uh, <clears throat> generational curses those of you that are breaking and moving forward moving from some real heavy shit right this is that family attachment you know this is that when you're dealing with toxic family now those of you that don't have toxic family this isn't your fucking reading but not every family is freaking love and sunshine okay when you're doing the work to heal yourself coming from that negative past you see the little kid down there Look at that, uh, Eight of Pentacles. Doing the healing that you needed to do. Yeah, not everybody does that. So you can't bring people along. Because they just keep you in that energy. 
People either want to change to come into your life and be able to work with you and sit at your table or not. And just because they come back don't mean you have to let them back in now. They got to prove themselves, right? Mm. Stay in the light. Stay positive. Stay happy. Uh, don't take on energy that isn't yours. And you'll know if it's yours or not. Things are still, uh, you know, coming to fruition. Things are still, uh, you know, working out. The negative and the positive, okay? That's why you should be focusing on you, what you got going on, okay? It's like a... How do I, it feels so, it, it's such a, it's going to be such a major switch up. It's going to be such a major change because when you're doing that, when you're doing the work, right? When you're going in and you're focusing, you're doing the inner child healing. A lot of you breaking, uh, you know, generational curses. You're, you're understanding, you know, your family dynamic. You're understanding who you are and how you operate and why, you know, you are the way you are. And understanding that, working within those confines and, and making sense of it. Going back, thinking about the past, right? Understanding family behaviors. Understanding how all that works. Understanding the toxicity. Like I said before, about every reading, you're going to get tested to make sure that you learned the fucking lesson. That doesn't mean you can't bring people back eventually, but you got to make sure they've done the fucking work. That's a journey they got to take. Those of you that are on that journey to enlightenment, you know how the fuck it goes. You know how much work is entailed, right? Everyone's got to take that journey at some point in their life. They can be guided along the way, but for the most part, you're not supposed to help them. Those wishing ill and negative and all that shit, those that want to steal, those that want to take from you, those that wanted to do the most, they got to go back down that fucking road and realize. So they know. You send peace, love, and light because what you put out there is what the fuck you get back. Mm. It feels like it needs to be more of a separation, collective. You either feel that energy, this is something you're going to know. Because, you know, you're going to get drawn. Everyone's on a different passageway. Everyone's at a different part during this journey. Uh, you got to figure it out. you got to know. These toxic energies, and we just say toxic because they're not healthy. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean they can never be in your life again. It just means not right now. Spirit will let you know when it's time to let that person in, when it's time to give to that situation. But a lot of you right now, it's focusing on you, doing the work you need to do. Moving forward. I love that energy switch up, uh, guys and gals. It's, it's, it's a different energy. It's a different feel. It's... Um, You know it when you feel it, guys. You know it when you feel it. You know what I mean? And a lot of you right now, you know what you need to do. You're getting drawn to do what you need to do. Yo, hopefully when you come to tarot land, you, uh, you know, the readers are just uh, reiterating what the fuck you already know. You're like, you know what? Okay. Yo, I've been feeling that. So, uh, okay. That's right, right? You don't have to let people back in. You'll know when spirit wants them people back in your life. You'll know. In here and up here. Without a doubt. And you'll be able to tell if people's actually done the work or not. I mean, come on. Those that's done the work, you expect other people to do the work. And you're not going to tolerate people that don't. Especially those that you let close and into your energy field those that actually can affect you emotionally because that's important 
keeping your energy up. I feel like there's more, but then it's like there's some that you don't need to know. Um, there's things that you're not always supposed to know. There is pain. You know, when people start going through that, they're going to be going through some shit. Some of them are going to be feeling the fucking crunch. Remember when you were at your lowest, when you were at your status, when you were picking your ass up. You know that energy. Well, others are going to be going through that right now. Who was there to pick you up? Because you know what? On this journey, you pick your own damn ass up. It's up to you to pick your own ass up. That's the way it's designed. Because you got to learn that self-love. you got to learn your own self-power. Because once you understand that, that is when you know you can handle business. That's Emperor Empress energy, right? That's when you control what is yours and you're like, I built this alone and I can fucking run it alone. I ain't just letting anyone in here to fuck up my shit. You either come able to work and, and, and give to it and reciprocate the energy or you ain't getting anywhere near. So think about that. And if you're not at that point where you can stand tall and, and set your boundaries, draw that line in the sand and do what you need to do and remove yourself from individuals you need to, then you know, you'll eventually get to that point. For everyone, it's different. Do what you got to do. Do what you're being guided to do, whether you realize it or not. You know, uh, some of these readings, you should be clicking off if you know it's not your reading. Not every reading put out there is your fucking reading, okay? You ought to be able to tell within the first four or five minutes if that reading is really yours. If you're not pining for someone from the past, then you don't need that fucking reading, right? That's not your energy. Uh, some people are still stuck in that energy. Everyone's on a different path, right? There is no right or wrong. Everyone's just on a different journey. Not every reading is totally yours. Sometimes there's snippets in there that are important to you, right? You take what's yours and leave the rest. Because there's a message for everybody. And sometimes the message is, you know that ain't your fucking message, okay? Uh, using your discernment. <laughs> using your discernment, right? I'm loving this energy, though, guys and gals, because you know what? I'm telling you, 2022 is going to be a fucking awesome year, but, you know, it's time to wrap shit up. What, we got about two more months left to kind of get the ball rolling, figure out, are you figuring out what you're going to do? Have you figured out where you're going to be New Year's Eve? Y'all taking your fucking notes? Are you taking your notes? Are you jotting your ideas down? Are you figuring out what you're going to do? Are you figuring out your next step? And remember, move in silence. This is that inner work. This is when it's up to you to get things going. A lot of you probably drawn to start cleaning up your house, cleaning up your space, going through and getting rid of what you don't need. Because in order to bring in the new, you got to make space for it. So you go through, you clean out your closets, you clean out your kitchen cupboards, you go through your junk drawers, you get rid of what you don't fucking need. You want to bring in abundance, you got to give space, right? If you want to go on a shopping spree and get a new wardrobe, guess what? That means you got to get rid of the old shit, right? Really going through and thinking and trusting your gut and your intuition on that. Because everyone's on a different part of this journey, okay? I wish I could think of the name of that fucking song, though. It's Laura Branigan. It's like the picture I could see on the video uh, was like a chair and like a red balloon going up in the air. And I cannot think of that song to save my life. Pay attention to your angel numbers. Some of you getting guided from your ancestors. That's when you know what energy is yours and what energy isn't. Okay? You know, you get that little tug on your heart, like a little kid's down there tugging on your heart. Mm. You got to know when that's yours and when it's not. Because remember, if they're thinking about you or your name's coming out their mouth, they're inadvertently uh, pulling on your energy field. Okay? Y'all remember where you were and you were in your nine of swords energy. We had eight, nine, and ten of swords. 
You all remember that energy. Well, others got to go through it too. But that's a journey you take on your own. Because that's, are you going to get, are you going to pick yourself up by yourself? Because at the end of the day, you got to be able to do that. You got to be able to pick your own damn ass up. Even if that's just picking your ass up long enough to dial a damn number to get the help that you need. You still got to be the one to pick your ass up. You got to be the one to pick your ass up. You got to be the one to take them steps to do the change. You got to be the one to do the fucking work. No one else can do that for you. And a lot of you, you're going to have to, that's that tough love energy. Mm -mm. Because that journey is about learning to do it yourself. So no one or anything can get you in that energy again. You know your strength, you know your power. Mm, I'm thinking of that Whitney Houston song. I didn't know my own strength. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I'm picturing the one where she sang it on Oprah. And uh, Clive Davis was in the audience. <laughs> I'm going I'm to link that video. I didn't know my own strength. Yeah. You're going to figure out your own strength. Whoever you're dealing with is going to figure out their own strength. Right? Everyone has a chance to take that journey. They either do it or they don't. You're going to know when to call these people back in. You're going to know when it's time. Spirit's going to let you know. The same way Spirit let you know you had to remove yourself. <sighs> Damn collective. That felt like a preaching session, but I felt it was needed. It's such a... It, it's such a... It's a beautiful energy, but I don't want you to get confused. I don't want you to get... Um, it's like, don't get sucked into this. Because a lot of you, it's going to be very easy to get sucked into that. Go right back down that fucking rabbit hole. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. And I know you're getting a lot of ideas. Are you jotting them down? Are you trying to figure out how you're going to put them into action? Because a lot of you are getting a lot of brilliant ideas, okay? Write that shit down. Even if you don't use it now, it could come in very handy down the road, okay? Peace, love, and light, collective. Peace, love, and light.